the big question is how this energy is delivered. So National Academy of Sciences in 2020 issued a report about this Havana syndrome um, incidents or anomalous health incidents as the government wants us to call it. And um, the most plausible hypothesis is directed pulse microwave energy. So that's the causative agent. That's what causes the brain damage. Directed pulse microwave Pulsed. energy. Yeah, pulse is very, very important because if you just microwave, it just heats up. But short pulses produce that thermoelastic effect. So it, the, the tissue is just expanding and collapsing in, in that way. It heats up just enough to induce damage or produce that audio, that fray effect uh, uh, to um, hear sound or modulated voices, things like that. So pulse is very, is very important in this scenario. But that report did not say how it can be delivered. And when you look at the 60 Minutes report, they show these devices that uh, can fit into a small car or uh, maybe backpack or a truck or a van, but that's an outdated technology. I question, and Robert made me question whether it is a local source. You know, somebody sits in the van and, and shoots a microwave at you. So we took a trip to West, West Virginia, where there's a radio national quiet zone. So there's no, there are no cell towers. There are no, there's no Wi-Fi. There's no cell phone only uh, receive a satellite uh, signal. There's no- No phone signal. No phone signal, no Wi-Fi. And we got inside. The reason they created that zone is because there's a, um, um, deep space telescope, uh, radar basically that receive receives signals from deep state. So they don't want any interference. The zone one, the closest to these radars, is um, actually has a radio police that monitors the signals. They don't allow cars with ignition because it produces electric wow. electromagnetic signal. So I got next to the um, biggest radar and got attacked. So people that, you know, there's no van outside. So when you got to this place, you yeah. what you experienced one of the- Yeah, these. I experienced one, one of the attacks. Just when you, you have to walk there, there's no, cause you know, can take a car. So went several miles, um, got there, was attacked, so definitely not a local effect. It's coming from somewhere, and you have a satellite signal, uh, but you also have things like HARP that can, uh, a uh, um, HARP stands for? Uh, uh, high Altitude Auroral Research Project, Research Project. And it's a one of the world's largest phased arrays. Uh, it's used for weather modification, steering, it all back yeah. <laughs> together. So, Len, when you went to West Virginia and you went to this place that had no connection to any cell towers, there was no phone signal anywhere, um, and you had this attack, what specifically happened to you? Like, what, what, what? Can you walk me through how these attacks, like how they affect you, what happens, how long they last, etc.? Just like I said before, it. It starts very suddenly. It's vibration. It's a uh, high pressure in the in the head, and you your whole body vibrates. Deafening sound. Uh, it you get your disoriented. Your whole body, your whole body, your whole vibrates. body vibrates. Can exactly. you describe the sound that you hear? Is it like us, like someone in the cartoons hitting a pot around it, it, your head? It's like high high pitch electronic. Tinnitus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like tinnitus. Yeah. Tinnitus. 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 But suddenly on, suddenly yeah. off. Suddenly on, suddenly off. Yeah. Hmm. It, and it just grabs you and um, you also hear voices. Yeah. The voices, V2K is, is, is a part of it. In Havana syndrome, I sent you uh, that clip. 
The very first reporting by CNN, they said that people hear noises and voices. Mm -hmm. And after that, there was no, it it was not part of any uh, reporting. But the very first report on CNN contained um, uh, that information. So, uh, and people think that hearing voices is is a sign of psychiatric disorder, but it just takes a little bit of education to understand um, this fray effect, this microwave hearing has been around for a long time, uh, has been known, and voice modulation has been demonstrated uh, in the 70s. There's published literature about it that you can modulate the signal and it produces uh, Doc, Dr. Lin from the University of Chicago. Yeah, Dr. Lin, Lin. Yeah, from the University of Chicago. He has a setup where he demonstrates the microwave hearing effect that he pulses it. The person who's standing in the middle of the signal where it's focused can hear it. And he does it on himself. And that scares me. I mean, he's heating up his brain. He's listening to these clicks, these chirps, as you know, they're called by the CIA or the diplomats, I'm sorry, that uh, get hit. And uh, yeah, that's a sign of uh, the microwave hearing effect. And it creates small little micro concussions over time. And the first thought that probably comes to your mind is that there's something wrong with me psychiatrically. Mm. Yep. I mean, this this is, if I didn't know about the existence of this technology, this would be my guess that this person developed delusional disorder. This is a uh, paranoid schizophrenia. But first of all, nobody develops paranoid schizophrenia in the 50s, in their 50s. This is, you know, if you haven't developed it by 30, Mm. it's not. Um, Then this technology exists. These nefarious uh, uh, programs exist. And it's hard to imagine for a person that, why would you do something like this? But if you think about the new type of warfare, it's that, cognitive warfare. Exactly, it's yeah. a cognitive warfare. You can't. You don't have to kill people. People that you are fighting against. You can just degrade their brain. You can. Uh, um, you alter their minds. Yeah, alter their, their minds, personalities, rebuilding. and it's like Chinese torture. I mean, yeah. this. Yeah. It, Okay, so whatever uh, they 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 they're talking to your head into your head, um, just ignore it. You can't. It's twenty four seven. It's nonstop, and it's accompanied by these attacks that make you so vulnerable. Read them uh, the definition of uh, directed energy weapons. Oh, you may not have it in front of it, yeah. but it's kind of interesting. You can pull it up. I, I, I send it to you to uh, uh, they, uh, and drop it. The definition of directed energy weapons. weapons what systems. They use, systems. And yeah. Directed of, energy weapon systems. And what they, they say in this particular definition was interesting, that it's disablement of personnel. Now, what? how could you disable a person? Okay, most people think directed energy, a laser beam. Okay, you burn them a few times, that's not really disabling them. Um, Making them dysfunctional, that would be scrambling their brains, that'd be dopamine dumps, that would be making, you know, concussion weapons, that would be uh, somehow affecting their nervous system so they drop on the ground. So it's a combination of psychological warfare as well as directed energy weapons along with the voice of God weapons with voice morphing with artificial intelligence chatterbots. It's a very, it's the most complex weapon system we have put together ever as a species.